Yo guys, what's up? So welcome to my Thaldor Medium Achievement Diary Task Guide. Today we'll be doing the medium ones for Thaldor, like I just said. I don't know why I just repeated that, but I did, so yep. <laughs> Anyways, these tasks obviously a bit harder than the easy tasks. A lot more is needed, some higher levels are needed as well, but we'll get them done. You and I will do it together. So quickly before I go over the items and levels, if you guys could drop a like, that would be sick. These take a while to put together, so I appreciate all the support. Also, if you're watching the guide, make sure to comment below if you guys have any suggestions for the guide to make it better. And those of you who are watching, looking to do the guide, make sure to check out the comments and the description to see if there's any suggestions so that'll help you basically make it more efficient when you're doing these. So let's get started. To start off, we're gonna need some runes, which is gonna be a Thaldor teleport, which is three air, one law, and one water. We're also going to need telegrab runes, which are one law and one air. Now I have some astral and chaos because I will be using the spellbook swap to switch to the standard spellbook. But you don't need the you don't need those if you're already on the standard spellbook. You also need six willow branches, which you can buy from the GE. I have those noted right now. You'll need to unnote them when you do the task, but you can just do it when I do it. A uh, fishing explosive, a weapon of some sort to kill a mogur for the slayer thing requirement. Um, you also need a full initiate set, uh, so the initiate uh, helm, body, and plate legs, or pl plate body and plate legs. I also have the Faldor shield on, but you don't need it. Uh, what else do I have? I have the bullseye lantern, a brown apron, a pickaxe, a crystal key, a rake, a hay sack, which you can just use an empty sack on a hay sack or hay bale somewhere, rune axe, tinderbox, brown bronze spear, watermelon, a mithril grapple, a crossbow. And yeah, that's about it. I also have Faldor teleports, a Taverly teleport, a Remington teleport, some stamina potions, some coins, which I have too many at the moment. And yeah, so I also, you also will be needing to teleport or get down to Mudskipper Point during this, um, during the tasks. So if you guys want to get like a Draymond staff to use the Draymond uh, or use the fire rings to get there, you can do that too. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be running down there. So if you want to run with me, you can run with me. Okay, so that's about it. For these, most pretty much you can buy everything here on the Grand Exchange. You can't buy the fishing explosive, though you have to get that from a Slayer Master. But I think everything else can be bought in pretty much. Uh, you just buy an empty sack and use that on a hay bale or, or haystack, like I said earlier. And that's how you get that. So, anyways, let's go ahead and go over the levels really quickly. Levels-wise, we're going to need 49 Fire Making, 37 Magic, 23 Farming, 32 Slayer, 42 Agility, 37 Strength, 19 Range, 40 Thieving, 10 Prayer. 20 defense, 40 crafting, 40 mining, and 30 wood cutting. So lots of levels we're gonna need for that. Again, if you are confused by any of that, go to the description, it's all there. Anyways, let's get started. All right guys, so to start off, we're gonna get some easy ones done out of the way. First off, you guys want to have your runes for the Faldor teleport. Go ahead, 37 magic, use that Valley Tele in the standard spellbook, and that'll complete a medium task, pretty easy stuff. Now there's gonna be all these guards walking around here, you know, trying to be all cool and shit. What do you want to do? Right click and pickpocket their ass. Boom, completes another one. Easy stuff. So from here, we're gonna head north, <clears throat> outside of Fally. And we're gonna go ahead and have to grapple the wall. I have uh, the grapple equipped, so you can click the grapple to equip it. And I also have the crossbow now equipped, so. It's all along the northern wall. You'll see it right here, that shortcut. I'm sure we've all seen it. We've all ran past it before. <laughs> so once we're on the outside, you guys just want to grapple the wall. Just right click grapple, make sure you have your things equipped. And once you get up there, after a little cutscene slash the screen going black, <laughs> you will have achieved the first part of that. Now you guys want to jump off the wall. So just right click jump wall. Unfortunately, if you have laggy internet like my house does, it'll take 10 seconds. But yeah, there we go. So that completes that medium task. Now you guys want to run south. Wow, look at that click delay. I gotta tell my parents to get better internet, man. <laughs> we're gonna head south and we're going to the bank really quickly. Now that we have enough space for our, our willow roots, we're gonna go ahead to the bank. I probably have a bank then, with my luck. So we're going to bank the crossbow, we're going to bank our willow branches that are currently noted. Going to go ahead and deposit those, withdraw them. And yes, yeah, so now we're going to head to the Faldor farm. So the Faldor farm is between Draenor and Faldor pretty much, you just want to head south. We're pretty much right there. 
uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the farming patch where all the herb patches are and stuff so I'll fast forward me running there So once we're there, you guys want to use your rake on the flower patch. Now you only have one, or I only have one space left, so I'm gonna have to drop them every time I do it, but it's fine. Oops. Just keep raking. And we may have to rake one more time if we don't do it in time, but <clears throat> it's fine. Just get all the weeds out. What do you mean nothing interesting happens? I see weeds, man. Is he on a bucket? Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. So now, you guys want to use your bronze spear on the hay sack and use your watermelon on that. And now use the scarecrow on the flower patch. And that completes that. We now have a scarecrow there. It's probably going to be there forever. Looks pretty juicy. Yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and head over into the little farm area. I have herbs I need to pick. Oops. We have to go over the style. If not, you can just run around. I have to use the loom in here. The loom is that little... I don't even know what it looks like. What does that look? looks like a soccer goal, to be honest. A, a goal. A foot goal. Okay, open that. And we want to weave with the loom. And we want to weave a basket with our willow branches. So when we weave, when we weave that, we will get a basket. And we completed a task, so that completes that. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and leave the farmhouse, and we're gonna run south to the fat, fat pits, the rad pits mini game. Well, you can see on the mini map, it's just the, the red, the red little um, mini game symbol, right to the, on the western side of the ports room docks. You must have done the rat catcher's quest to have gotten down here. Climb down the manhole, and that should complete the task. Yep, that completes that. Cool. So from here, now we're going to keep running south. And we're going to be going to Mudskipper Point, like I mentioned earlier. All the way down to the Mudskipper Point. We're going to have to kill a Moger. Uh, and remember, you need a fishing explosive for this. And you also, I'd recommend having a weapon. And you need to have completed the Moger mini quest to do this and again that's in the description as well and uh yeah so let's go ahead and see what we can do so you guys basically want to look for the i would get a random you want to look for the um ominous ominous fishing spot and you want to use your fishing explosive on it once you throw it in the water and a mugger pops out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pray. They really aren't that hard to kill. I don't even know why I'm praying, but let's see if I get flippers. Usually they're killed for the flippers. We get flippers, we got a rob pike. Nope, but that completes that, so we get a medium task done in the Thador area. Awesome. So now we'll be heading to Remington, so for those of you who brought a Remington teleport, go ahead and use your Remington teleport. If you do not have a Remington teleport, just go ahead and run from Mudskipper's Peak. It really isn't that far of a run. Um, and now you guys want to head to the chemist's house which is in the southwestern part of Remington you want to go ahead and go in there 49 fire makings needed for this once you're in here just simply use your tinder box on the bullseye lantern and light it and that'll complete that I've already done the uh, the task already so it's not gonna show up for me but if we go ahead and go to the uh, Falador medium tasks we'll see light a bullseye lantern that should be done for you so just north of here is the Crafting Guild, which is where we need to go next to mine a gold ore at the Crafting Guild. So for this, you're going to need to equip your pickaxe and your uh, brown apron. <clears throat> and we're going to need to go to the little mining area, which I wonder if people use that like ever. Oh, we went to the wrong side. Whoops. Oh, there's a bank here. It's legit. Is it just a bank deposit? That's pretty sweet. I should have gone here, man. Cool. So it's, we can go ahead in there. And then we have to go mine a gold ore, which is the gold colored rocks. So let's go ahead and mine that. 71 mining. Should get it instantly, man. Or not. 
Oh, there we go. That completes that. And we get a gold ore. Legit. So now we head to the Taverly area to do some of those tasks. So we're going to use our Taverly teleport. For those of you who did not bring a Taverly teleport, you have to run up there somehow. And uh, yeah, it's not too far of a run. But we're going to go and get some stuff done. So we're going to make sure you have your crystal key equipped. Or not equipped. Just make sure you have your crystal key. Run into this first building. And run to the... chest uh, uh all the way to the right of the building and use your crystal key on it and you're gonna get some loot a dragon stone a dragon stone we did not get anything usually you get loot with the dragon stone i got nothing that's unlucky but that'll complete a medium task so worth now we have to go chop some willow logs so where we're gonna go for that is the southern part of taverly along the river Basically, just be on the lookout for willow trees. Where are you? Willow, willow, willow. There they are. They're pretty much all along the river. So, this is actually a really good place for willow trees. If you don't mind, like, not having a bank, but cool. So, wait to do one of those. Then we're going to go ahead and, and light it really quickly. And boom, that completes another task. From here, while wearing, while wearing your... Initiate armor. Make sure you have that equipped for the next part. We're going to head up to the Altar of Guthics, where you guys did Druids, whether that Druid quest was for Herblore. Let's go to the Druid Circle. We're going to have to pray there. I don't think you need item equip or I don't think you need to unequip your weapons or anything, but as long as if you have the Initiate, you should be good. And you must have rec re completed a recruitment drive to wear the Initiate, so. But you guys should have that done if you're doing this. So let's pray at the Altar of Gothics. That completes that. Now we're going to head to the other side of this wall up to the Chaos Temple up here. So where you guys want to take the route is just go south, go out the door or the gate, and run back up north. So I will fast forward me running there. Alright, so once you're here, make sure that you do not attacking them or doing anything stupid so basically what you want to do up here is teleport a zami wine or not teleport you want to telegrab a zami wine from the table for some reason somebody i guess i already gotten it but i have to go ahead and spellbook swap to standard and we are going to use telegrab on the zamrock wine or wine of zamrock use it bam free Zam wine of zami and we get a medium test done. Last but not least, we're gonna go to the Dwarven Mines. So where that is, is Dwarven Mines right here. We're currently running south, right along these. So where you just wanna go is you wanna follow this path down, you wanna go up into this area up here, and we wanna end up right there. So you're gonna have to go around through this path up here. You can honestly probably teleport to Edge a little bit quicker. I just like running there, it's no big deal. So uh, yeah, I will fast forward me running there. Alright, so once you're here, you're going to go ahead and climb down the ladder, run south, and last but not least, for the last part of these medium tasks, we have to use the crevice, which should be down here somewhere. There it is. We may have to go to the other side. Can I squeeze through the crevice? Yes, I can. That should be it. Oh, I was in the rock for a second. I would never want to go through that IRL. I would die. And that completes it, guys. We finished the medium tasks. Let's talk to Sir Rebrol in the Thaldor Castle to claim our reward. And we've made it to Thaldor Castle. Let's talk to Sir Rebrol. Hey, I've completed all the medium tasks. I can see that you'll be wanting the reward then. Upgraded Fally Shield in 3, 2, 1. Oh, that looks so nice. It's a kite shield now. Awesome. So I've, I've upgraded to Thaldor Shield. It can restore half of your prayer. Uh, I can also provide 10 experience boost at Thaldor Farm. Wow. And you have an increased fan of chance of finding climbing a oh my god, I can't talk. Finding a clue scroll from a guard, and can access a shortcut within the motherload mine. That is awesome. Along with that, we also get an experience lamp, which is hella good, because 
we hate runecrafting, and that's going to help a lot. Cool, 7500 runecrafting XP, beast. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video did help, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. If you have a suggestion for the guide, or if you just leave a comment, if the guide helped you out as well, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video.